Hello guys, it's Johnny time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today you will learn how to convert your BTCB, your wrap Bitcoin on Binance Smart Chain Network to native Bitcoin. If you have a native Bitcoin wallet and you don't want to hold BTCB, but you want to hold the original BTC on the native Bitcoin blockchain, this is what we're gonna learn today. Super easy, super simple without KYC. It's gonna be through a centralized exchange that does not require KYC, which means that you can stay anonymous if you want, which is a big advantage. And if you're interested in more tutorials about crypto, DeFi, Web3, make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification button because I have so many beneficial tutorials that will make you a crypto and DeFi master. Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you want to do in order to convert your BTCB to native Bitcoin that you have on MetaMask Wallet, for example, on Binance Smart Chain, is to open an account on MEXC Global. MEXC is a centralized exchange that does not require KYC, which means that you can anonymously bridge your BTCB to native Bitcoin. The easiest way to sign up and get even discounts if you are planning to trade or withdrawals, discounts for withdrawals is using my official uh, affiliate link on the description below and you will also support me because I will get a small commission on every trade that you make. So you are one, supporting my channel, two, you will not fall to any scams because you will go through the official link and three, you will get some discounts. So make sure to use the link in the description below. Then you sign up, it's a simple sign up. You can use your real name, you can use another name or another email, it doesn't matter because, but just make sure that it's an email that you control in case you lose the password and you need to reset it. And you can open an account. Once you open an account, you don't need to do a KYC, you don't need to verify your identity, your address, your passport number, anything. It's completely anonymous without KYC, which is quite rare these days with all the regulations that the sexes, sexes are having satellite exchanges. And you want to take advantage of, it, of that while you can right now. It's not a legal advice. Of course, you have to declare about everything to the authorities, but sometimes our privacy is important and we want to keep it private. So once you open your account and you sign up through my, my link in the description, now this is the wallet view. You go here to wallet and you click overview. The first thing that you want to do is uncheck here the, the checkbox hide small balances because you might not see Bitcoin because you don't have balance on Bitcoin. Make sure you are on spot account and then you can search here for BTC. Once you search here for BTC, it will only filter the tokens with BTC. And the first thing that you want to do is deposit. You click here deposit. And as you can see here, I have some deposits um, for the last time that I deposited BTC. You switch here to BEP20 BSC. This is BEP20 BSC Binance Smart Chain address. Now you can send to this address your BTCB. This is the BTCB, by the way. You can see it here on PancakeSwap. You probably have it in your MetaMask or Trust Wallet. Make sure that it's BEP20 BSC token. This is super important to make sure that your tokens are not lost. Once you have BTCB on BEP20 BTC, make sure it's the right one. You can send here to this address. Now the address in sensors, you will have your address. You can simply open your MetaMask wallet. Just doesn't matter. Send here, paste the address that you have and send your BTCB token. And after pretty fast, it took me like one minute, you will see your BTC balance reflected over here on the MEXC centralized exchange account. Now you have your BTCB inside the account. Now it's counted as BTC and you can withdraw it to the native BTC, native BTC blockchain, original blockchain. How do you do it? You go back here and then you click withdraw. All right. You change here to BTC and the withdrawal network this time will be BTC, the original native BTC blockchain. You change it to BTC, you put the amount, the fee is quite low. You paste here your Bitcoin wallet address. I myself use Ledger. So if you don't have and you don't know what Ledger is, it's a hardware wallet, the most safe and secure way to store cryptocurrency, especially if you have big amounts of cryptocurrency. I highly recommend that you can watch my tutorial about Ledger, how to use it. And also you can purchase from the official link because you don't want to purchase from shady links that will 
basically sell you a wallet that is hacked and they can hack your tokens. So only use car behind, yeah. Only use official links in the description below that I will attach and watch my tutorial about Ledger. I use Bitcoin Ledger wallet and then you paste here your Bitcoin address. Make sure it's the Bitcoin native blockchain SegWit address. Then you paste the amount, all right? So you paste the amount over here and they're gonna take a commission, 0 0.002 Bitcoin, which is right now around $40, which is quite fair for bridging between BTCB and Bitcoin native, because remember they, they don't take commission on the deposit, only on the withdrawal. You click submit and you have 24 hours withdrawal limit of 20 Bitcoin, which is a lot. This is $200,000 a day without KYC, which is great. And that's about it. This is how you bridge from BTCB to BTC using MEXC centralized exchange, but without KYC. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and please show me if it worked or even better, join the Discord community and let's talk there. If you appreciate this content, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials in the future. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.